Today we're talking about the Morph Cut, which is a transition inside of Premiere Pro that will allow you to blend any jump cuts in your talking head clips. And I'd love to make a Power Rangers joke here, but lawsuits. In the past, if you had to deal with a jump cut like in this interview clip, your only real option would be a digital zoom in to cover it up or B-roll. But sometimes that's not an option or you may want to hold on that shot, which is now possible with the morph cut. So let's bring this clip into our timeline and trim down any unwanted portions. Now we're gonna go to our effects panel, choose video transitions, dissolve, and drag the morph cut transition to your desired edit point. Premiere will now start analyzing to create a seamless transition between the two clips. Of course, it's not gonna be perfect every time, so it is good to play with the duration settings and see what works best. For the most effective results, you're gonna want as little movement from your subject as possible, and the same goes for your background. Since this effect is using a face tracker to analyze and blend your footage, having a change in the background or too many faces in the shot will likely lead to blotchy frames or an analysis failure. So this transition does work best with lockdown interviews or subtle movements, with these shots here being the best example of that. Maybe you're just cutting dead air before they speak again. There's no change at all in the background and the subject's expression and position of their head isn't shifting that much, so the morph cut can do its blending between the two shots while keeping it very subtle. If we made the cut a bigger shift, say her head was in a totally different position, once we drop the morph cut on, the effect is very obvious. But you could go in the opposite direction. Instead of using it as an invisible transition, you could lean into the imperfection and create obvious stylized results, like using it on completely different clips to get this glitchy type of transition. Depending on what clip you have, you'll get different sorts of results results, but all with this glitchy morph effect. But there you have it, how to use a morph cut inside of Premiere Pro. And as always, if you have something you'd like to see us cover in the future, feel free to drop us a comment below. And subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and updates like this one, because you travel 2.5 million kilometers around the sun per day. So what's one little click?